Welcome to this week's Home and Away episode of Anoki Daily Spotlight TV. Today we are basking in some winter wonderland wedding trends. So let's take a look at what dream party decor has in store for us this winter. Well, tell us a little bit about dream party decor. Well, dream party decor, we actually started uh, around seven and a half years ago. The way we work uh, with uh, all our clients is a little bit different than any other companies. We do more custom designs and we're known for more bigger, bigger sort of structural elements and stuff and also uh, try to work with our client to bring their vision so it's not like a cookie cutter design. So Raj, I love the monochromatic blue theme that you have going on here for the winter wonderland uh, wedding theme. Would you say that there's a difference between summer colors as opposed to winter color themes for weddings? Oh yeah, definitely. Summers are actually more uh, with the pastels, you know, lighter colors and stuff, whereas in winter we tend to use like darker colors like, you know, a deep purple, uh, either royal blues and stuff which we have used in our setup here. Uh, just to bring the warmth in the design. So Raj, staying in line with the winter theme, what are the popular color fabrics and textures you would say that you would use in a winter um, wedding theme? Well, one is the textures wise, one is the velvets, uh, because you know, they actually, when we are doing the draping and stuff, they fall really well. And then also because of the texture, they actually create like a 3D-ness in the, in the draping, and they also create the very sort of a warm feel. And what about these gorgeous beads that you have here? I think it just creates a beautiful texture. Would you say that it illuminates? What it does is that, uh, one is it helps us create more of a, like a magical, mystical kind of a feel. Right. And you know, and they also uh, help us make a, 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 like a wedding backdrop or a design and uh, different from a, a, like a regular house curtain. So Raj, what I find so incredible about the design today is the outdoors and the indoors and how you've incorporated the two. Just looking at the snowballs and the snowflakes just gives it such a great Christmas feeling. So what's the inspiration behind this? Well, what we did was we actually uh, took, uh, th these are some of the things which you won't typically see in our South Asian weddings. Uh, from the decor perspective, what we did was we are trying to fuse uh, both Western and South Asian sort of culture or design aspects because typically you will actually see snowflakes and these kind of things in the Western wedding. So we're trying to bring a unique element to the South Asian part. So staying in line with the winter wonderland theme, what's a typical table setting? Well, what happens is that when we are actually doing a table setting for winter, we generally try to bring in more crystal uh, elements because that sort of represent the uh, ice and then we also bring in the mirrors and stuff which can be actually used on the uh, table setting but also to create more of a dessert table kind of a uh, table setting as well then we bring in more candles look more warm also we are we use uh, these sort of uh, ornaments which are typically used for the crystal uh, for the christmas trees and stuff just right. to bring in that sort of uh, winter feel the typical table setting would actually have charges which are very general uh, for throughout the wedding season but here we're using more polished steel again to bring in that sort of a mirror element and uh, the reflections and stuff and then also what we are doing is we actually have these uh, napkins where we're using these napkin rings again which are more crystal uh, just to bring in more sort of a winter kind of feel go along with what the backdrops are like. So that's it for this week's episode. So enjoy your first snowfall and all the joys that a winter wedding will bring. Visit us at anokimedia.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter.